Remember when train travel was cheap, fast, and fancy? Well, Amtrak is here to change all that by making them expensive, slow, and crappy. They have turned all your favorite passenger trains into a piece of crap that wastes your money. Don't say it's because it shares tracks with freight trains and goes against airplanes and cars. Via and Brightline also do that, and they are really good. It's actually because your CEO, Richard Anderson, isn't doing anything to fix them. Amtrak, it's the train we take when we're afraid of flying. Amtrak, see beautiful mountains and high bridges for less than half the trip. And that's what we came here for. Our P-42s have high-end technology and can go up to 110 miles per hour. If only the speed limit was 110 miles per hour. Get ready for high prices. More high prices, delays, more delays, and more high prices. Did I say high prices? And when I rode Amtrak, there was absolutely no Wi-Fi. So unless if you bring a book, a traveling game, a CD player, a mini game console, or a mini DVD player, you'll have absolutely nothing to do but stare out a window for over 40 hours. Curse you, Amtrak! You gave me an excuse to read! I hate it when I have to read! Curse you! When you ride Amtrak, you'll totally regret this trip, especially when you paid a lot of money for this. It's over 40 hours of torture. Here on Amtrak, we know you can't last that long without food. That's why we have a dining car. Simply fill out a dinner reservation. Wait two hours to get a table. Wait for the waiter. Wait for the food. And when you get your expenso food, you'll find out your average school cafeteria can do a better job cooking than this. When you ride Amtrak. So try out our new uncomfortable seats and support things like the end of steam excursions. Watch as all your favorite steam locomotives you known and loved are retiring because of Amtrak. And engines like 611 are making so much money that they're actually donating it to Roanoke's economy to make Roanoke a better place. And Amtrak wants to end such a good thing. I mean, just listen to what he has to say about this. Yes, of course we wish that we were running excursion seasons and we'll be happy if they're able to resume. But it's all here and running. So why will you fly, drive, or take a bus when you can take such a big crappy train like Amtrak? Enjoy the journey.